Watford have just announced the sacking of Slaven Bilic after definitely not so great results. 0-0 draw at home against Preston. A, a tough loss away at Sheffield United, to be fair. A draw against Burnley, a draw against Blackburn. It's not even like we've had bad results. I know we've fallen out of the top six, but realistically, with... The team that we've got, I know a lot of people say you've got Jao Pedro, you've got Saar. But in January, he wasn't backed in the window. We weren't really backed in the August transfer window. We sacked Rob Edwards after promising that we he will we will defend him come high, hell and high water. Then brought in Slaven Bilic. Obviously, like I say, we've fallen out of the playoffs. We're ninth in the table. Maybe it is like... Last chance for the Pozos, like it's like one more push, get rid of the manager and hopefully have that managerial bounce. Um, and I could kind of see it. I mean, I hate to say it, if we get a good managerial bounce against QPR away, they're not on the best of form recently. What are they twentieth in the league? Lost all five of their last games. Birmingham at home, who have not been, who are hardly doing better. And Wigan, who are in the relegation zone. Yes, OK, the managerial bounce. Three get three really must-win games. But at the same time, if Slaven Bilic had won them next three games, we would have kept the manager, we would have had the same manager, and we could have had that momentum without having to sack the manager, if that makes sense. I could definitely why people could probably want him gone. But at the same time, this is probably where sacking Rob Edwards has come back to haunt us. You know, I know I never did a video about it. I was fuming. We'll, we'll support Rob Edwards come hell or high water. We sacked him in September. He joined in July, sacked in September. So Gino Pozzo broke that promise and the fans were fuming. Rightly so. We brought in Slaven Bilic and we thrashed out 4-0. So maybe we had, did have that one game managerial bounce. And then straight after that, we had lost 2-1 to Swansea and even lost to Blackpool. What a shock. Sacking Rob Edwards did nothing because he's not the problem. I agree that Slavin Bilic's tactics, the substitutions that he's been making, yeah, definitely questionable. But the problem are the people at the top, the ones and also the players that can't be bothered to play for this football club. Ismail Assar is a huge one of them such a good player it was probably worth 40 million a couple of years ago not even worth probably about 10 million now he's been so poor the people at the top it has been shocking we'll support robert rob edwards come hell or high water they broke the promise they've sacked yet another manager and it's embarrassing there's not really much we could talk about from here um it was kind it was definitely coming 100 percent um, and some people could agree with it, and I could kind of see that, but it's the consistency of sacking managers. And, and I even said at the start of the season, even if we finish up mid-table with Rob Edwards, he's a young manager, like, trust the process. Like, it's a tough league, do you know what I mean? Um, and obviously they broke that, and Chris Wilder will probably... I'd like to think we could have a... It, 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 it could be a good managerial bounce. Like I say, QPR, Birmingham, Wigan three completely out of form teams and if we can get nine points from there the momentum can be really good but sacking yet another manager it's it's comical i mean it used it used to work right you can't deny that i mean when they came when the pozos came in in 2012 got us to the premier league within three seasons got to an FA Cup final. So in some ways it used to work, now it doesn't. We need a manager that can stabilise the team, that can be here for fairly long term. I can really make this feel like a team, do you know what I mean? And, and support them through thick and thin. And that could have so been Rob Edwards and that's what really annoys me. Um, God knows how long, it's, it's a matter of when Chris Wilder's going to get sacked, not if. I don't think he'll last until the new year. I really don't. It's just come yet again. Another one bites the dust. Could, like I say, it might have just been the last roll of the dice. Maybe this does get us playoffs. But there's a lot more going on in the club rather than just the manager. 
the investment with players have been shocking. I mean, the other day, none of them players looked like they wanted to play for us. Um, and like I say, the, the transfers have been really poor. Obviously, we bought in Ben Manga now. Hopefully, he could pull off a masterclass in the summer. But um, just yet another manager gone. And it's it's so sad to see what's going on this season with this club. Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? I'm, do, I'm, I'm sorry if I don't really look up to Mystic if I'm down. I can't really put on this front, do you know what I mean? I'm gutted to see what's going on at the moment. We just sacked another manager. I think you could probably see what's going on. And yeah, what do you guys think in the comments below? Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.